Hi guys. Um, today I wanna ha I I'm talking to you from uh, Santec City. Uh, it's in Singapore because I'm on Spikes. It's smaller sister, little sister of Tan Lions Festival. And the reason why I'm here is uh, not only because I was a speaker today, but because I really truly believe how important it is to get to know perspective of different culture. And Asia, Asia Pacific is one of the biggest and most growing region. And it's fascinating for me to get to know how their marketing set is, how they're thinking, what kind of things they do and why they do it. And today I want to share with you a couple of things that I, uh, I discovered for me new and fascinating from uh, Japanese uh, companies. Uh, dobry. Uh, hi everyone. I'm very happy that in this middle of the day you can join me. The biggest difference for me compared even to Cannes or compared, especially compared to Polish advertising is here is definitely less drama. It's it, I did not see that many ads that have this emotional harakiri that is so popular right now uh, in Poland, like look uh, uh, IKEA or especially Allegro. It's it's more subtle. Like emotions are definitely more subtle. Another thing is more kindness. Like what I what I experience in when I look at this ads that they present, it's more. Um, they're more fighting for the like, goodness of human being and they have less aggression and less less feisty mood that I see in European advertising. Another thing, it's less bullshitting. It's even even presenters the way they talk, it's it they use much less than it was used in Cannes or in in Polish conferences, marketing jargon or like saying, oh, it's like that was amazing and that just and, and it just had a huge, uh, um, huge amount of likes or whatever. They're more concentrated on actually what they achieved in this ads and and uh, in this campaign and why it was made. What is the benefit of this? I like that I see another trend that it's definitely more about lifestyle than about product. For example, what I really like, one an example that I particularly like, it was a green label beer that decided that they want to address the problem that people feel that uh, the life is really, really fast right now. And um, the faster they live, the more unhappy they are. So they, are, they pr prepare something called slow button. And when you order something online, you can press the slow button and you do not know when it's going to be delivered. So um, you just have to wait when it's going to happen. You, you just, you're going to have surprise and you will see what's going to happen. So that was campaign to show just you don't have to be in rush. You don't have to be always in control. Just slow down. And that is amazing that it shows it's not directly was connected with the, with, with the brand, like the way we think. It was nothing about how great beer it is, how, how amazing it is to drink with the friends. It was just slowing down and then this is what I believe that for me like main things that I really like about uh, about different trends as I see in advertising itself and uh, I want to share with you a couple of things that I really like uh, um, in examples what I learned from Japanese uh, presenters it was not only Japanese I'm just sharing with the Japanese one thing that I love that they exceptionally practical in Poland very often when I hear about technology I do feel stupid because I don't understand what it's for and I f I admire these people who are talking about me like this but I don't really know what is it about and it's extremely opposite attitude here if I don't understand it's possibly because they don't speaking well enough I love that uh, everything what is presented here is showing how can we use it for your benefit how can you use later our technology for the benefit? For example, one of the things that I really, really like is um, how company that is doing uh, making loans, loans for uh, for buying apartment mortgages. They decided to create a special platform when they downloaded from all over the every possible free data that they have information about neighborhood, different neighborhoods 
of the city where people could buy um, the apartments because 82 uh, percent of decision is made on if it is right neighborhood so if you're a single mom it's important for you to know that you know you have a lot of like school oh, okay, if you're never not a single mom just a mom kindergarten school a doctors whatever and maybe if you're like super hipster you don't want to have any children around and this is what you can check here so they downloaded this data and they created one system when you can search by the things that you actually want so first of all it's exceptionally innovative nobody ever did it uh, second it's very practical because this is how you want to look for it and um, and you never had data in one place that you were able to do it. And third, the side effect of this, that you also could search for some, uh, for some business. Imagine that, that you want to open a mm, new shop with the shoes for the babies. So you can check how many babies there. So you can check different have data, how many you know, kindergartens there, schools, and how many shops with the shoes for the babies are there. And then you will know if it's a great neighborhood to open your shop and to open your business or not. So I love that they just thinking about how can it be useful? What can I give to you? And then they expect that you, uh, you're gonna give them back. Another thing that I absolutely love is that they call something that instead of a visual, they put feelings into this, a really difficult word. And this example also super, super like, because you know all these boring uh, ads. Miha, you probably know, you and an actor, so you probably participate in many, many ads like this. So they tell you, oh, why don't you change internet? Our internet is much faster. Why don't you do this? And you know, it's, regular person who is uh, having internet do you know how fast is the internet is most of the people when you do research in Izmalkova, you know what they said it is fast because i can download my song in like the song that i like in like 30 seconds so because people need to know how fast it is because nobody understands this megabytes gigabytes nobody understand that so what they did is they used technology to measure real uh, uh, speed of your internet in your phone and then uh, they have a fan and it blowed according to the speed and then you can experience speed of internet they uh, um, uh, they provided thank you Fergus um, so imagine that you have your internet that just like making your hair look and then you have internet that changing actually how your face look like because it's so so fast and this is called like feeling marketing experiencing marketing and this is what i want to all encourage you for because it says that visual just speaks for the thousand words and i believe that feeling feeling speaks for millions of visions because if i feel it i'll never ever forget that so this is what I find extremely um, encouraging. Another thing that I really like, that I feel like all Japanese companies are super concentrated on saying, um, on, on making sure that, uh, that all the customers, I know, Tsawusi uh, love first and put the customers in the center and put the needs in the center and put everything, Krzysztof, everything what, uh, what is important for them in the center. First. And again, I want to tell about an uh, about, uh, example from the beer, beer market, um, green label beer. And what they disco discovered, what they uh, noticed uh, is that green in Japanese exists in a way it's written in, Jap in, in, in Japanese in many names, Japanese names. So what they decided to do, they use this and show how green every name is and they made small animation of this and then they even prepare labels for this beer the amazingness of this that they did not have to show they did not have to talk about uh, greenness of the beer what they show that you feel because they're talking to you you know my favorite quote of my favorite i think uh psychologist jung it is that he said nothing is more precious for human being than ego and ego is always represented by your name. So they use this philosophy to the core. And what it's important um, message from this, they said, look, we had to be very careful about every single name. They created around three, if I, if I remember well, 3,000 animation with the names. He said, we could make one mistake, uh, one mistake in the name, and that would be 
like really huge mistake uh, for the whole brand and for for the people because for for us it's just one in three thousand but for them it's like the whole world because it's in their name so the way he said it it's remember that uh, maybe you, uh, you created for masses but masses made of individuals so your brand buying in, uh, individuals so remember to uh, talk to them as they are individuals one of the things that I absolutely also love is that um, what they say what I usually say fuck trends and they definitely say like fuck trends fuck everything whatever uh, everybody else doing try to create something new and stop looking what everybody else is uh, doing Cześć Eliza, Cześć Paweł. Um, it's case that I really like and I really want to tell you because this is very unusual from creative perspective and I love it that it's strategic that it's made on uh, res based on research and it's uh, and it's so practical so they had a product that was something between noodles and pasta and when you hear pasta what do you think what is your first association when you think pasta if you're like 99% of people is Italy is Italy so you can say oh pasta like Italians like or uh, love by all Italians and and that would be just simply not true the lesson from this case is that whatever you do you have to be real you have to be true because now in era of internet you will find they will find out and you're gonna be screwed so it's better to be true so Mm, they decided to say like first it's going to be first association Italians people gonna talk about this so why don't we also talk about it, but in true way so they did research to say not improved by Italians they did research in Italy and they say 82% of Italians said definitely not pasta you cannot call it pasta and I said no it's pasta so the other thing that they said it's very important when you do your advertising your communication with the clients encourage them to participate so they said okay so try it and tell us is it past or not uh, what do you think about this share it and they were not afraid what people are gonna say because they also cannot name it there's things like pasta or noodles they do not exist something in between so you can decide what it is for yourself and do not be afraid do not delay these comments do not be afraid that somebody gonna say Ugh. if they're gonna say it fine because one of the main messages that I hear in Canada and I hear now, if you want to be loved by everyone, you're going to be nobody. If everybody loves you, you're not trying to, uh, hard enough. If you want to have people who are in love with you, you need to have people who hate you. And it's better be conscious decision. So when you do something, if you want to say, I want this group, these people uh, love me, make a decision who you want uh, to be hated by it's better you choose them it's better think about this but if you're going to cut over the edges and want to like make something smooth and likable by everyone to get it to all possibly it's going to be like like everything else like millions of other brands that people meet as you know we meet around 200 advertising messages a day so do you want to be like 200 advertising messages a day if not stop cutting you know this uh, haters invite them to your brand and say thank you Thanks to you, I feel very special and I feel unique. If you want to be loved, you need to be hated. And with this very optimistic messages, I want to finish today with the day one at Spikes. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be, I'm going to start early because as you see, it's already a little bit dark and I'm going to deliver you some more insights from Spike Asia and hopefully I'm going to also have better internet. Thank you so much for being with me in the middle of the day and I'll see you very, very soon tomorrow.